Butler to Bradley basketball. Last night, the Braves set two Carver Arena records. Biggest margin of victory, 73 points over Judson, and smallest crowd, way less than 73 people. A very strange, very quiet opening night for the Bradley Braves. How strange? Check out the crowd reaction after the play of the night. The alley-oop to star Elijah Childs for the two-hand slam, and the crowd did not go wild. I, I gotta tell you, in warm-ups, like, nobody got the music going and the crowd just, like, the crowd noise in the background, it really felt, like, empty in there. Like, it's 2020. It's the new, it's the new basketball for right now. Now, we don't, we want our fans back. We, you know, obviously when, when everything gets better, we, we can't wait to get our fans back with this team because this team will really feed off them. But the Bradley Braves led the Missouri Valley Conference in home attendance last year. All these empty seats can't be good for Bradley's home court advantage. I think home court advantage, you might see the winning percentage in division one drop this year. I wouldn't be shocked if that happened, Jim. Uh, home court is the fans impact the game, the energy, the adrenaline. Usually the fans are the big factor. Playing in this big arena with nobody in there, it's, it's really an adjustment from last year. It was, it was tough. But you gotta, you gotta bring your own energy then, and I think we did that. Bradley is trying to bring a home court advantage. They even had cheerleaders on the video board cheering on the Braves. But the Braves will have to supply their own home energy this year at Carver Arena. Tonight is opening night at Redbird Arena. No fans and no defense allowed for the Illinois State Greenville game. First down, time down the court, ISU gets an alley-oop dunk. You saw the halftime score at halftime, ISU 83 to 50. All the running gun highlights tonight at 10. The IHSA board did meet today, but just for discussion, there will be no high school sports until at least January. Jim DeAndy time here, a little viewing tip for your Illini fans. Hopefully Brad Underwood's wearing the mask tonight. Underwood says most of the game he wears the mask, but when he needs to yell, he puts the shield on. He's more effective yelling with the shield on, so let's hope we don't see much of the shield tonight in the Illinois.